with Ben from Colliers, who is here to talk about the apartments and the outlook for the apartments in Melbourne. So Ben, uh, Colliers being one of the largest uh, marketing companies in Australia, what do you think about Melbourne's apartment outlook for next five years? Uh, good question, Thikshana. Um, thanks. The, um, the outlook for Melbourne is strong. So we're seeing really strong population growth on the back of the borders opening after COVID. What we do lack in Melbourne is a supply of new projects. Um, we're very low on developable sites in and around the CBD. Um, that's why a lot of what we've seen recently is a, you know, student investors are, are being attracted to completed projects with quality apartments that, where there's some really good value to be had. We're quickly seeing this completed project market losing all stock. So we're starting to see the sellout of projects now. So the opportunities are, there are some remaining, but they're quickly dissipating. And on the back of that, we're seeing really limited new projects come into the market. Whereas, say, 2015, 2016, we may have launched four or five projects in a, in a year. So far this year, we've launched two projects with no more to happen for the rest of the year. We've got another project that we won't launch until probably after middle of February next year. That's the next one. So where we've seen really strong demand is in quality apartments that are already established where investors and owner-occupiers are attracted to the quality finishes, the quality the buildings with the best amenity, the best the buildings have to offer, well-managed buildings in prime locations with parks, schools, hospitals, all that, the, the amenity that people need to attract the, the residents, whether they be owner-occupier or, or the tenants. Yeah. Ben, you've touched on a few good points, which is investments and owner-occupiers buying in apartments now and in the future. So if you were a buyer, what would you say is a good investment right now and for the future? The buildings that we bring to market are designed with the end user in mind. Whether that's an investor or an owner-occupier, people win, you're effectively you're selling homes. You're selling where people are going to live. The best performing asset for an for an investor is going to be where people are most drawn to want to rent to those people who can't, who don't buy for whatever reason. One of the buildings that we've got in the market that's performing really well as an investment at the moment is our iconic, which is recently completed. But it's also, whilst it's a highly sought after building for an owner occupier, it's also very highly sought after for tenants, meaning that it's a really good investment vehicle. Something that is in, also in the CBD of Melbourne, again, the quality building, which we know has very strong rents, very well managed and a amenity that is unsurpassed in the CBD of Melbourne and I'll say all over Australia is Premier Tower. So Premier Tower is an Ellenberg Fraser, a highly renowned architect design on the doorstep of the Southern Cross railway station with amazing views. It's a 78 level tower with more amenity in it than, than any other building delivered so far. It's got a real strong following because it not only is it a destination, it's, a, it's an icon, it's also performing well as an investment. Going forward in the future, you know, for those that can't necessarily buy an apartment building that's completed now, I would say the building that we launched only a couple of months ago, which is Park Quarter on St Kilda Road. Now St Kilda Road is a highly sought after pocket. It's a uh, tree-lined boulevard that leads through to the CBD. It's got some of the best private schools in the area. There's one of the, the best public hospital is just down the road. And it's a beautiful product with, which is going to be managed by the Marriott Executive Apartments. These things combine the offering that, that a building like that will draw and tenants to being a very well managed, superior offering from the concierge services. The location nestled between the Faulkner Park to one side and Albert Park on the other. I think that's going to be a place that's very highly sought after. Capital growth wise, I think because you're in a building with, it's not a, it's not a hugely high density building, you're going to have opportunity there for capital growth. And the, we've seen majority of the interest there from owner occupiers in the larger product with the views over Albert Park Lake and out to the bay or the other side for the St Kilda Road. So we've seen really strong interest there. They're, they're very close to appointing a builder as well, which is a good news story for the, for the project, which is always a real milestone for us when we see the build, uh, build contract signed and we can then, future buyers have certainty over their pro project being built. Here at Park Quarter, they've been able to keep that cost down, which gives value to both the investor and the owner-occupier alike. Well, thank you very much, Ben. I'm, I'm sure that our clients actually very much understand the quality and how well you actually present those projects as well. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you.